A new study claims that raising chickens and pigs actually does less damage to the environment than raising cattle. And that isn't sitting well with the country's beef producers. CCTV's Hendrick Sabrandi reports from the U.S. state of Colorado. Beef is what's for lunch when cattlemen and women meet each summer in Denver. They're true to their roots and their livelihoods in an industry that's taken its share of punches over the years. It doesn't surprise me. Uh, you know, we've, we've got our critics always launching arrows our direction. Now a study in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences claims beef production generates five times more greenhouse gases than poultry, pork and dairy, requires six times more fertilizer, 11 times more irrigation water and uses 28 times the land. The report's lead author, Gidon Eschel, calls the numbers staggering. Basically one measure after the other, it just seems like beef marches completely to its own drums. To me, it is kind of unbelievable. The beef industry is fighting back. I don't think they did a good job on the methodology. There's a lot of holes, I think, in, in the data that they used. The National Cattlemen's Beef Association says the study is an oversimplification of a complex beef production system, that the industry has made great strides in, for example, how much feed is required for an animal to gain a pound of weight. We've made huge improvements in feed efficiency, and that wasn't part of the model that they developed. I mean, the industry's worked really hard to, to do a better job. Um, U.S. beef production has the lowest footprint of any other country that's been published. At a time when growing middle classes in developing countries are helping boost meat consumption, that environmental footprint is a huge issue. But Eschel, who strongly defends his findings, says there's only so much the beef industry can do. Their ability to improve is, is limited. That is the hint that they were dealt. As stewards of the land, ranchers say they're committed to the environment as they dodge arrows along the way. These studies are kind of getting to a, an overload in the consumer's mind. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.